Blair of the Mounties, a story of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. We present the fifth in our succession of dramatic episodes from the life of Sergeant Blair, a fictional series based on the work of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police in the days preceding the World War. Our scene opens in the police barracks, Dawson City, where we find Sergeant Blair talking with Constable Marshall. Well, look here, Sergeant. You don't mean to say that you believe this story about the phantom sniper that's going around. I don't know, Marshal. What do you think? I think it's just a lot of poppycock the papers have cooked up. What about that dead man they found on the Indian River Trail yesterday? I know, but why this romantic title? Of course, I don't know the details. Definitely not. Well, here they are. This dead man was a young miner from Montana, name of James Prouse. He was shot through the head by somebody using a high-power rifle of a very small caliber. That's funny. Had he been robbed? Yes, Prouse was carrying quite a stake on him. I see, but where does this phantom stuff come in? Well, for one thing, this is the second man to be murdered and robbed in just the same way, without a trace of the man who did it. But there was a light fall of snow yesterday. Weren't there any tracks? No, that's where the mystery comes in. The only human tracks near the bodies were those of the murdered man. The only human tracks? Why, what do you mean? Why, in each case, the man had left the trail for some distance. And in each case, there were bear tracks, keeping step with the man's tracks all the way from the main trail. Bear tracks? Yes. It looked as if the bear went down to the main trail, met the man, and went back with him to where he was killed. Oh, look here, Sergeant. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but those are the facts that have to be explained. You got Joe the man on the job, didn't you? Yes. I see. Have you any theory, Sergeant? No, but I want you to slip over and talk to Belle Latour and get her right away. Belle Latour? Where did she come in? Why, this Jimmy Prouse used to hang around Belle's place. Had a girl there, I believe. Oh, I see. Anyhow, chase over and get her, will you? All right. Oh, here's Joe now. All right, I'll talk to him. Hurry back as soon as you can, Marsh. Right you are. See you later. Oh, policeman chief. Oh, good morning, Joe. See those tracks? Yeah, I see him. Him no bear track. What? And what kind of a track is it? I don't know. Why isn't it a bear track? Him no walk like um bear. Oh, what do you mean, Joe? You think men make those tracks? No, him no man. Maybe woman, maybe boy. Him walk on bear's feet. Hold on, Joe. A woman or a boy? Yes, that's funny. What on earth does that mean? Couldn't be a woman or a boy who did that murder. No. I tell you. Maybe two people. One man, one woman. Woman, she catch him. Man, he kill him. Oh. I see, Joe. That's an idea anyway. Thought of a decoy game, eh? Yeah. All same, shoot him, Doc. <laughs> well, thanks, Joe. You stay around. I'll want you later. Yeah. Me stay. Uh, come in. A bell's here, Sergeant. All right, bring her in. See you later, Joe. Yeah. Morning, yeah. Bell. Sit down. Thanks. You bring that girl? Hattie? Yes, she's waiting outside. I'd like to get the loo down before she comes in. Yes, I understand. Did you know this boy, Prouse, Bell? Sure, and a fine, hard-working boy he was. What sort of a girl is this Hattie Smith? What sort? Oh, I get you. She's on the square, Sergeant. What does she do at the circle? Well, I paid her to entertain evening. She's a good singer and a streeter girl as I ever know. Yes, I see. Well, bring her in, Belle. Come on in, Hattie. <laughs> Quit crying, honey. It's going to be all right. This is Sergeant Blair of the Mounties. He's a friend of mine. He's after the man that killed Jimmy, and he wants you to help him. See? Yes, Mrs. Latour. <laughs> I'll be all right in a minute. But it, it was awful losing Jimmy. That's all right. Take it easy. The sergeant here wants to ask you a few questions. Don't try to hide anything, honey. All right, Mrs. Latour. That's better. All right, sergeant. Thanks, Belle. Now, uh, Hattie, you were keeping company with Jimmy Prouse, weren't you? Yes, sir. Tell me how and when you first met him. It was this spring I met Jimmy. Yeah. I mean, I got friendly right away. Mrs. Latour said he was all right. So we got engaged, and Jimmy went up to the claim. Yes? Did you see him at all after he went up? Yes, sir. He was down in July. And you heard from him regularly? Yes, sir. How was he doing up at the claim? Well, not very good up till July. Him and his partner had a lot of trouble. They didn't make expenses until then. And after that? Well, then they struck good pay gravel, and Jimmy said they was averaging three or four hundred a day. Hmm, and Jimmy would have quite a lot of gold on him when he started down, eh? Yes, sir. I got a letter last week to say he was starting Monday. It'd take him two days to get out. You should have been here last night. <laughs> yes, yes, all right. 
All right, now, Harry, I'm, I'm going to ask you a very important question. I want you to tell me the truth. Yes, sir. Did you tell anybody in Dawson that Jimmy was coming down? Why, no, sir. Well, well, just... Just, just what? You don't mean to say you did tell somebody. <laughs> Who was it you told? It was... It was just Mamie Scott. <laughs> Mamie Scott. You mean you went and blabbed to that no Hold on, hold on, Belle. I must get this story straight. Now, Hattie, you must tell me just what happened. Yes, sir. Well, Mamie Scott had been teasing me. Said now that Jimmy made a pile of money, he wouldn't want to go with me anymore. I hadn't had a letter for three or four weeks, and I was scared it might be true. Yes, but how did you come to tell her? Well, when I got Jimmy's letter saying he was starting Monday, I felt pretty good, and I let Mame read it, just to show her things was okay with Jimmy and me. Well, for heaven's sake. All right. Sake. All right, Hetty. That's all. You better go along and rest. <laughs> well, Sergeant, what do you think? Bell, that girl's story is very important. Think so, Sergeant? Certainly do. Looks like a lead. Now about this Mamie Scott. Who is she? Oh, gee, I ain't hardly got the patience to talk about her. To think that that poor simp's spilling her story to anybody like that. You know this Scott girl pretty well? Know her? Yeah, I know her. She used to work for me. That's all? I fired her last year. For what reason? Oh, she was a troublemaker. Always on the make, too. I don't stand for that, so I threw her out. What's she like? What's she been doing since? Oh, she's a good looker. At least a lot of people think so. Never could see it myself. She's one of them tall, slippery blondes. Always reminded me of a snake trying to walk in its tail. Mm. As to what she's doing now? Gee, I don't know exactly. Still here? Sure, she's always around town. Mixes with the crowd, don't drink much, and always seems to have a lot of good clothes. Well, thanks, Bell. That's given me something to think about. Gosh, that goes for me, too. Well, I gotta get back. So long, Sergeant. So long, Bell. What do you think of that story, Marshal? Well, frankly, I don't see much in it. Well, not by itself, but it's... Funny. Fits into an idea I got from talking to Joe, the Indian. Did he see the tracks? Yes, said the tracks weren't made by any bear. Said he thought they were made by a woman or a boy. A woman or a boy? Well, that sounds absurd. I know, but Joe never makes mistakes. I suppose he had one of those funny theories of his. Yes, and it may not be so funny. He thinks there was a man and a woman in it, and that the woman was used as a decoy. Ah, I see, and you think that Mamie Scott was a decoy? She might be. But who was this sniper who did the killing? I know who he is, Marsh. You do? Yes, but I haven't a particle of evidence to go on. I see. Anyhow, we'll try fixing up a little trap to test out this theory. Eh? How do you mean? I want you to get Wiseman. He's good at disguises. Have him fix up as a miner and hang around the circle this afternoon. I see. You want him to talk to this Mamie Scott? Yes, that's it. You'll have to play drunk. This is the story. He has a mining partner who's coming in with a big stake. This partner will be making Dawson tomorrow night. That means he'd be passing the Thompson Ravine between three and four in the afternoon. I see. But of course, there won't really be a man coming down. Oh, yes, I will. We'll have another man play the partner. It's the only way. But what if this sniper bumps him off? I'll see that doesn't happen. Gosh, you think it'll work? Well, if it doesn't, there's no harm done. If it does, we might get the pair of them. All right. I'll see what I can do, Sergeant. Wiseman will plant the story on this Scott girl anyway. That's what I want. Then we'll be on hand at Thompson's Ravine tomorrow to see what happens. All right, Sergeant. Take it easy, Marshal. They're pretty well hidden here. Can you see that trail? Yes. It's only a few yards from here. Gad, it's getting stormy. All the better. What did Wiseman say? He said the story worked like a charm. Anyhow, this Scott girl headed out of town as soon as it got dark. Joe followed her. By George, Sergeant, it looks like a wild goose chase to me. Not a word from That's Joe. All right. That's all right, Marshal. I know where Joe is. Oh, well, all right. But the whole thing seems impossible to me. Just hold still for a while and you'll see something. Right? I hope so. It's getting near the time. Tenant should be showing up soon. Look out. There's somebody coming down that ravine. Yes. Good Lord. It's a woman, too. That's right. Keep quiet, Marshal. There's tenants coming up the hill. He'll be here in a minute. That's right. Well, I'll be John. Look out. Keep quiet. She's spotted tenants. Help, there she goes. Help, help me. Hello there. What's wrong? Oh, please, mister. It's my husband. His leg's broke. He's back up with the ravine. It won't take you but a minute. Well, I don't know. Can you get anybody else? No, there's nobody nearer than ten miles, and he's in bad shape. Oh, please, mister, you got to help me. Well, all right. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Oh. Look out. Grab it, tenant. Get a hold of it. Get, get, get a hold of it. Hold still, ma'am. I've got a nice pair of braces for you. Oh, Lord, you sprain me, you dirty meat. No, no. Take it easy, ma'am. Let's have a look at her feet. No. Hold still, hold still, young woman. 
Well, well, I thought so. So you were the bear, eh? Why, what is it, Sergeant? Just take a look at this. She's got a bear's pad sewn on her moccasin. Why, George? <laughs> she must have walked on the ball of her feet so the heel marks wouldn't show. Pretty neat, eh? Well, I should say it was. All right, we've got to work fast. Cannon! Yes, Sergeant? Take this girl and book her for complicity in the murder of James Prout. No, uh, no, you can't arrest me! I ain't done nothing! No, what you would have done if you could get me up that ravine. Come along, you. What now, Sergeant? I'll make a detour. I want to circle around and cut in between that cabin and the ravine. I'm going after that sniper. Hope he hasn't seen or heard anything. Not likely in this wind. But are you sure he's there? I don't see how he could... Oh, happen. Come, come on, Marshal. Joe's looking after that. If we can locate Joe, that sniper won't be far away. See anything, Marshal? No. But we must be getting close. There's Ryan's shack over there. Yes. Don't see any sign of Joe. Come on, we've got to chance it. We'll open out a bit and work up to the end of this ravine. I do, Sergeant. Hey, stand where you are. What do you want? I want you, Ryan, for the murder of James Prout. Oh, you do, eh? Well, you'll have to come and get me. You make a move, I'll kill you. I've got to rush him, Marshal. When I say no. All right, Ryan. No! Hey! Get out of me! 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 What happened? Uh, Joe was right behind him. Must have jumped him when we started that rush. Well, that's lucky. Thanks, Joe. Well, Ryan, we've picked up a friend of yours down the ravine. Oh, yeah? Oh, how you mean? You know who I mean. Beautiful Mamie Scott. The woman who walks like a bear. Uh, All right, Marshal. Back to town. Come on, Ryan. You have heard episode five in the dramatic serial Blair of the Mounties. Tune in for the next episode in this series entitled The Murder at Hackett's Landing.